Good afternoon, this is Keith All. Uh, today will be a tutorial using the Builder All platform and within the Builder All platform, the Cheetah Builder. So what we're going to learn today is how we can add a pop-up um, to your website. And what do I mean by a pop-up? Well, right here is the published version of this particular website, and I'm going to click on this button right here. Um, so this is a pop-up. Um, so you could have um, do whatever that you want with it. Uh, you could design however that you want. So we're going to learn how we could add this pop-up uh, to this site. So first we're going to go back to our site. Now, if you're already editing a particular page within your website, then all you would have to do is come over here and click on this home button. And that's going to bring you back to the main page or main dashboard of your particular website. This website is uh, called Beauty and Skin Template. And of course, I have multiple pages. So uh, what you want to do is you want to navigate over here to the left side and where it says Edit Pop-Ups. So let's first create the pop-up first, and then we can link it uh, um, to a button on a particular page or link it to an image, whatever that you want. So let's edit pop-ups. Now these are my current pop-ups. Now I'm just going to create a new one. And I'm going to call this home page. I'm just going to call this two for right now because I already have one called that. So I'm going to click on save. And now it created this um, uh, entry here. So now I want to edit the pop-up. Now at this point, we need to add like a panel. So let's come over here, add panel. And you could do anything that you want. It could be call to action or anything that you particularly want. So I'm just going to click on blank panel. And now I want to add my particular elements on here. So what I want to do first is I'm going to go to Add Elements. I'm going to grab uh, the image. Add this over here. Now what I want to do is I want to edit the image. So uh, once I have this image element selected, I want to come over here to General Settings. And here is where I grab an image. Now I already have some images uploaded to this site. So I'm just going to uh, pick one, select it, and click on Save. And it changes the image. So let's do that. Now let's resize this panel behind here. And we could also resize the image. So um, click on the panel itself. And then come over here and click on size and let's uh, I don't want to make it too large maybe about that size is fine and now I want to I want to resize this image to fit within this panel so I'm going to go and click the image element and then just drag this uh, button or this uh, circle right here to resize it Let's move this over. Let's put a border around this uh, panel. So I select that and let's come down here to border. And then I want to select what type of border do I want. In this case, I'm just going to choose a solid border and I'm just going to increase the size. And as you can see, it creates this border. So let's, uh, so that's fine. Now I want to add in some text. So add element text. Drag and drop it into your pa uh, uh, panel. Now double click the, in the area. Highlight what's there and type in your message.
do that. Let's add in another text. So add elements text, drag and drop it in here. Double click on it, highlight it, and then uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Okay, and there we go, and there's the pop-up. And again, you could um, make this a lot differently. Let's. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of this panel to match this color here. So I have a Chrome extension on my PC, and it just allows you to um, uh, select any color that's um, on your particular web page so it's called colorzilla there we go and let's see just a second okay there we go and now we just select this particular area let's see did it copy it um, let me try this again. This is on the website. Let's do this. Core picker. Sorry about that. It finally selected this color. Now let's go back to our Cheetah Builder in the Edit Pop-Up. Let's select the panel. Let's select the background. And we're going to choose a solid color. Select this rectangle here. And I'm going to paste in the hex code. And there we go. And it changed the background color to that. So now let's click Save. Let's click that's fine. Okay, let's go back to this is the home page. Let's also click save up here. Let's click that's fine. Click close. Our last step to connect that pop-up to this button is right here. So let's select that. We want to select the set link icon. And now you could select over here on the left, it says select pop-up. So I'm going to select this one that we just created. Let's click save. Hit set save. Now let's save it again to publish the site. Okay, click close. Now I want to go to the URL of the publish site. I want to refresh this so it grabs the new changes to the site. And now let's click um, the button. And there you go, there's our pop up. So that is one way that you could create a pop up and add it to your website. Um, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, sorry for the, some interruptions there, but uh, we got it done. And remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification so you always get updated when a new video is ready. And also please like, share, and comment. And I do appreciate your support and stopping by today. You have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.